Right, hello everyone and welcome back to the Dual Emperors series with myself playing as Byzantian and Vespasian as Rome and uh, we're, we're doing okay. Last session was... it had its ups and downs, let's say. Uh, we're not doing okay, we're behind schedule, Lambert. Well, Don't lie to them. There is no schedule, okay. Uh, so, funny thing is, um, the updated... Byzantine flag mod doesn't actually change the Byzantine. It's still got forest. Oh, filth. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna have to just deal with it. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not fucking around with it. No, At least no. now you've got a, an, an excuse if you get stack wiped because you're no longer farmland. Yeah. No, I'm just gonna totally use that excuse. Enshrine the aristocracy or promote oligarchy. Aristocracy. That's the the one with the console, isn't it? Aristocratic Republic, yeah, as a ah. co-ruler. Yeah, I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to stab a pig I first. I hardly ever change my government form as a republic. Me neither, but the one I've got at the moment has got two civic and one religious ideas. And I kind of want the dual consuls because they're pretty too cool. Um, so yeah, stab a pig, get that sorted, that'd be nice. Uh, you're fine. You're fine. Sorry, my government policies as well. Cultural assimilation until I'm over 90%. Uh, yeah, it seems fine. Alright, uh, have you got anything to trade? Have you got food? What kind of food can I take from you? Um, whatever you want. Something like that then. Um, then, have we got any more trades? Got another one here. Uh, let's grab ourselves some olives. And uh, what else? We got some up here. That's olives as well. And then here, that's a fairly decent spread of pops. Let's get ourselves. Oh, I don't know, honey. Not wine, more olives, some leather. All right, looking good. Ah, oh, thanks. You're welcome. Uh, so what's 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 the plan then? Who are we attacking today? Uh, a big war against the rest of the Greeks might be on the cards. I think that might work out. What do you think? What's your plan? Uh, what? Well, what do I think about what? what? Um, do you want do you want to go to war? Um, yes, 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 I am. Do you want to go to war together? Carthago de Lunda Est. Naturally. You should know. You instilled this hatred of Carthage in me. <laughs> right, well, once I kicked Carthage out of um, Iberia, made them my tributary, then made them rebel so then I can take them personally land for zero aggressive expansion, then I will help you against Phrygia. In the meantime, you, you, you can eat Greece if you find. I don't need Phrygia yet. I think Dardania wants... Ooh, hello. Dardania is about to get a rebellion. Oh, snipses. Where are you getting a rebellion? You're getting a rebellion up there. Alright, I'm moving my arm in position then. Both those provinces are going to rebel unless uh, on the, at the nth hour, uh, with one month left, you're going to fix your rebellion situation, which I've seen the AI do more than once. Hey, James. Hey, Michael. Um... Your co-player is so arrogant. Fucking tell me about it, David. Wait, 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 what? 
Don't talk about Lambert like that. He's not that arrogant. <laughs> Is 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 mental, really? Isn't he? Okay, this. Uh, okay, this yeah, sounds... no, I'll accept mental. Arrogant? No. Oh, of course, yes. I'm having a little bit of problem with food in Greece because all I've got in this province is three cities, and that's it. Yeah, I think me having a bit of Thessaly with those four grain. Mm, oh, it's not even Thessaly. Oh, are, are you losing? No, you're not losing food there. No, no I'm, I'm, I'm talking about Hellas. I'm talking yeah, about Hellas. Yeah, then you could, like, import it. Uh, it's only got one import route, and it's already importing grain from you. Sorry, uh, vegetables from you. Well, don't import vegetables, import grain. Grain gives you more food. Uh, it doesn't if uh, it's the first one you're importing. Just plus ten percent for the first one, regardless. Ah, right, yeah. So yeah, nothing I'm gonna do about it right now. I've already got another uh, provincial thing coming. Are you gonna do another Stellaris multiplayer game? Um, you want a third one? Are we are we including the one that we did yesterday, or no? Because if we're including the one we did yesterday. Yes. Wait, no, no, if we include the one... No. Yeah, maybe. What? Yeah, I, I know we've had second Stellaris multiplayer, but what about third multiplayer? <laughs> Alright. Dardini's had his rebellion. I'm gonna jump the fuck on this. I'm going to try to at least. You can call Rome into your wars. Yeah, but he's busy. Cafe going. No, he's not. He's not busy at all. I assume that's what the 91k is all about, though. Are you under siege okay. yet? You are not yet under siege. We're going to be able to take the whole thing, hopefully. I also want to build some roads, because I don't really have that many. It's going to three cohorts. Not scared at all. Love it. Um, just woke up from a three-hour nap after online school. Uh, how are y'all? I'm I'm doing quite well, thank you. I just woke up from a ten-minute nap after getting my son to sleep, where I fell asleep with him on top of me. It's, it's just it reminds me of that um, dad thing. Episode of the Simpsons where Homer's trying to get Maggie to sleep and he just keeps falling asleep. She's just constantly, he's just constantly falling asleep and she's like, not even falling asleep. That's, that's what I'm imagining with you and your son. I started watching every single video of you since you played as Kush. You're a good player. Oh, thank you. It's so annoying to hear him keep saying, get good at this game, mate. He's only memeing, it's fine. He's all, he knows I'm a good player. Who's telling right? you to get good? You keep telling me to get good. Clearly you should quit. Um, yeah, you're a good player. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> it's not his fault. He is, um, he is challenged in these ways. He's not good at giving compliments where they are most definitively due. No, no, he'd get compliments if he was actually good. His single player runs aren't too bad, but then again, you know, he plays them very easy. No, I don't. When was the last time I played them very easy? 
I don't know. You tell me. I mean, uh, I can't. <laughs> I can't tell. I don't remember any time. Um, mm, nope, can't remember. Because I don't. Oh, I know. The very, very earliest patch, I think I did a, a very easy run as Perfidious Albion. See if uh, as a test run. See, there we go. You've admitted it. You played them very, very easy. Not very, very easy. Just very easy. It's a, it's a vast <laughs> gulf of difference there. <laughs> um, are you all going to conquer the historical Roman Empire? Or are you going to conquer more? Um, I mean, I'm I'm not pushed either way. I'll I'll I'm happy with just you know historical borders, and then we'll spend the rest of the time maybe fighting each other, perhaps. Um, if we get that time, which I'm skeptical, but I would like to. Yeah. Just to prove to your audience that you need to get good. <laughs> You're not gonna drop this, are you? No, not no, not now they've brought it up. Oh, Moesha has joined the war. Well, that was silly of you, wasn't it, mate? Now I can grab Palmatis. Oh, no, and Aldalmatia can... Sixth of April, I'm getting there. Seventh of April. Fucking shite. No, I'm going to get stack wiped, are you? Nope. Okay, good, good. Just no. I might go to war with uh, Delmatia though. What? Lambert in the new patch will probably turn the AI off. People must think like I'm a god if they think Lambert is good. Guess who that was? Iggy. No. Jake. It was a fifty-fifty, and you got it wrong. <laughs> Jake. Well, Jake thinks your... everyone except himself is shite. And your friend Dave thinks I'm arrogant. I, I look like... I, I don't know what I would look like, but I look like a not arrogant person next to Jake. Mm -hmm. I, can't, I can't even think of the word. Humble? I don't know, it's a word I, mean... I use so, so little. The most humble person who ever did live ever. Yeah, I think I might go to war with Dalmatia. He's actually allied with Beotia, Dalmatia, and Lyprian. Wait, Dardania is all... Um, yeah, no, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Ooh, you're going to go to war with Dalmatia? Yes. Ooh, I need land off them. They guaranteed by Carthage? Yeah, do you want in then? I mean, I'm already at war with Carthage, mate. If, if you could wait, and then I could get a second war with Carthage. Sure. Yep, that can be arranged, uh, I think. You need switching out for you. Now everyone's happy again. Yeah, I want to attack Dardania um, because he's being a pillock. Uh, can you show the culture and religion map? Sure can. That's co uh, religion. Hellenic's looking nice. Um, thankfully, I've still got a lot of Hellenic land to expand into. Anything that uh, Vespasian takes from now on is going to have to be converted. And then, uh, culturally, I am Thracian. And um, I'm not sure if that's historically the case. I think historically, Byzantium was a Bithynian cultured little tribe thing not tribe city state uh but it's 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 uh you know it's nice it's doing good it's doing all right all right we just started a war on your comment section about uh, the culture of the little fishing village called Byzantium. 
I'm just going by um, what I think it was Kings and Generals did a video on the um, formation of like the uh, Aegean League, the Aetolian League. No, what's it called? Delian League. That's the one. And they talked about um, Byzantium being uh, uh, Bithynian. So yeah. I don't personally know. I just basically regurgitate what I hear on uh, on kings and generals and channels like that. <laughs> it's basically a lot of my historical knowledge is just regurgitation. Uh, do I have any buildings to create? Chalkis can have a building. What do we want here? A temple. Before Jake's like, oh, you're building temples. Why are you building temples? Ugh, meta. Because I fucking want to. Because I like them. And my capital can have. What can my capital have? What do I want to build here? Um. Another academy. A plus five percent manpower. I'll take that. Freeman happiness. I'll take that. I'm in morale recovery. I'll take that. So how long is your war against Carthage gonna last? Uh, I wish I knew. Oh, he's sieging uh, your island there. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Oh no. Save the peasants, you pillock. Peasants? What are we, in the Middle Ages? Anyway, now I have um, a co-consul. Oh my god, tech 6 is so amazing. Slave output, monthly wages for characters, and a capital import route. It's yeah. got to be one of the best techs going. It's pretty damn good for sure. No longer importing hemp from Insubria. But why? Oh, because I lost my trade imports. Yeah, no, that makes sense. I lost three trade routes. Uh, I'm going to need to get those back at some point. Uh, can you build another fort in the capital just in case Frigil beat your ass? Uh, so you have better bonuses defensive. Uh, I, that is something I could do. I mean, I've got a level 2 there right now. How dare your chat scold me for saying you need to get good and then saying that you should build an extra fort because Fridge is just going to siege down your capital again. <laughs> I remember See, hearing... I'm not the enemy here. I remember hearing that a Roman emperor made all freemen citizens so they had to pay taxes. Sounds uh, like a solid guy. Yeah, I mean, that makes makes a whole lot of sense, like, pay fucking taxes, mate. Oh, wait, wasn't that one of the emperors in the late Empire period where basically it was kind of redundant at that point? Yes, I'm completely. pretty sure. Um, fuck, who was it? Like, it was a great move, but it was kind of just a bit redundant. Uh, uh shit. Uh, who was he? Who was he? Who was he? I'm pretty sure it was after it was after Commodus. Pretty sure it was. Was it after the crisis of the third century? Could it be? Okay, you're gonna get me thinking now. <laughs> Fuck. Damn you! You wouldn't back. want that now, would we? No, the smoke's gonna start coming now. Fire alarms are gonna go off and everything. Smoke alarms, you. Yeah, I don't know. That's 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 not something I have any knowledge of. My historical knowledge is vast. 
but it doesn't include that. Wait, you've got two forts on your capital and your stream thinks you needed another. Maybe they didn't see the second? I don't know. In fairness, Phrygia did come over you. with a big chunky army and uh, I've had my capital sacked a few times. So, I don't know. Uh, at least you don't have that shitty new tradition for negative 10 army morale. Yeah, that the new the new one for oh, it's just it's no. Just fucking no. I hate it. <laughs> Wait, what? Have you seen Byzantium's new um heritage? Nope. Negative 10% morale of armies. Mm, it's not that bad. It has It's bad. It's, oh. it's got nothing good to, you know, counteract it. Like it's it's just, what, what it's just bad in general. Is there nothing good in it? Not really. No. Um, I don't remember what else it is. He didn't see the second fort. Okay. Lose eighteen thousand, nineteen thousand manpower. Mercantile faction be more likely to support me. Eh, fine. Manpower. <laughs> Who needs it? Um, this is why you lose multiplayer balls. <laughs> Five forts in Constantinople or go home. Ah, oh, Theodosian walls, I mean, you gotta, gotta be done. Next time I get um, a ruler called Theodosius, I'll totally do it. At the moment, we're ruled by Porus. So, I mean, pff, it's like, it's whatever, you know. Let's hold some games. There we go. So yeah, Dardania's got a couple of sieges that I want, so that's why I haven't pieced out yet. I could also make Tribalia a client state. I just crushed. Oh, well, that's nice. 